in in our lesson today, we are going to talk about how you, the owner of your Steltronic Focus System, can put advertisements or your own graphics up onto the overhead monitors. I'm going to minimize focus here, and this is my regular Windows desktop. And I have a utility here that is showing you what we currently have running on lanes one and two. This one is lane one, and this one over here is lane number two. It's just a way that I can show you what is actually being displayed on the overhead monitors without using a video recorder. To continue on, we are going to now minimize this program and we are going to show you that the graphics that you are going to create with your own software you can purchase something on the internet or you can have a company make the graphics for you it's very easy to do but I need to show you where these files need to be placed onto the main computer I'm going to right click with the right mouse button and I'm going to click on Explore All Users to bring up my Windows Explorer. I have created some files already onto our main computer and I'll show you where they must be placed. We're going to scroll to a folder called Program Files. Then we're going to scroll down and find a program called Steltronic. I am also going to scroll down to a folder called Vision and then I'm going to find the folder called media and then a folder called BKG it stands for backgrounds once I've expanded my background folder you can see that I've got actions advertisements animals cars cities flowers I think you get the idea and you can create your own folder here you and say file new and folder and I could say XYZ bowling graphics okay okay I have created some advertisements already in advance I'm going to click here I'm going to click on let's say our nightly specials and I'm going to go up here and click on details because I'd like to show you that the graphics that we have made are a very specific size. This $5 picture screen is 1024 by 576 and that is very important. You cannot have any files larger than 1024 by 576. So whoever's making these graphics for you make sure they have that size already from the, the already done in the graphics program that created that file. Otherwise you need some kind of program that will resize them to be correct. Okay, now that we know that we have some advertisements, I will show you now how to use the Steltronic software and put those pictures up onto the screens. And we're going to click on the configuration manager. And we are going to move over and find the Advertising Management tab. And we are going to add some items to this list of graphics that I would like to see. Let's go to the Advertisements folder. And let's go to the Reopening folder. And let's talk about adding all of those graphics highlight them all in blue. You can drag a square around all of them so that they're all highlighted and click on open. And you can see this graphic and what it looks like. I can click here. That's the next graphic. The third graphic to play will look like that. And my fourth graphic will look like that. I can say how long each graphic will stay on the screen. Let's go with 40 seconds. This 
is how fast the graphic will move off of the screen and this is how fast it will move onto the screen and this will allow you to determine how the graphics will show up how they will slide in or slide out or up and down I'll choose zoom in and zoom out I must now click on the save button and I'm gonna call this um, night specials so we'll just call it night because the system will only allow you to use eight characters in this file name so I'll just use night for now and I click on save and now I need to click one more button to say that I want to use this list of graphics out onto the lanes so I will click on this red button here when I do that I'm given a big warning here to remember to perform the sync files on the lanes and I will show you what that means we can now close this window and I will click on this button here for lane 1 and 2 only if I wanted to put the graphics on 3 and 4 I would click here also and we all know that we can do all of the lanes by clicking on this button going to pair settings and then clicking on sync files click yes and what happens now is you're going to see lane 1 and 2 get a new graphic. It's letting you know that there are files being sent to the lane computer. If I looked at the monitors on lane 1 and 2, I can see that files are being sent to the lanes. Okay, we'll minimize this. And we will pause and let this system transfer all the files, which takes about five minutes and we will come back and show you how the graphics are now onto the overhead monitors. You will see now that lane 1 and 2 has finished and lane 3 and 4 is now going to send all of the files. Now we are almost finished sending all of the files to the lane computer and you can see we have a little hourglass here that says give us a few more minutes for the lane computer to turn back on and once the computer turns back on we will be able to see on lanes one and two our new graphics so I will minimize our focus software and I will bring up on lane one and two I'm showing our new graphics from the advertisement management program and that is basically all you need to know on how to create your own graphics and put them up onto the screens. Just make sure one more time that it's very important that your graphics are not larger than 1024 by 576. You can see that they are all 1024 by 576. If I was to look at our fall leagues folder, they are also all set up to be 1024 by 576. And that is all you need to know on how to put up your own graphics onto the monitors.